My name is Vishnu Gopal TV. I am a legal intern at Letters and Company. I am from Cooperative School of Law, Kerala. I am a third year student pursuing BBA LLB honors. So today's topic for this video is uh, right to freedom of religion. So the purpose of this video is to speak about the right to freedom of religion. So we know that India is a secular state. The word secular was inserted in the preamble of the Indian Constitution upon the 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act 1976. So secularism is neither anti-God nor pro-God and here all religion are equal and eliminates God from the matters of the state matters of the state and ensures that no one shall be discriminated on the grounds of the religion. So there is a need to analyze one of the important keys. That is S.R. Bombay versus Union of India. And here, in this case, the Supreme Court held that secularism is a basic feature of the Indian constitution and the state shall treat all religious denomination equally. So secular activities can be regulated by the state by enacting law. In uh, Article 25, Clause 1 of Indian constitution guarantees two types of freedom. The first one is freedom of concise and the second one is freedom to profess, practice and propagate any religion. So in one of the important and relevant keys, uh, Santosh Kumar versus um, Ministry of Human Resource Development, the Supreme Court held that introduction of Sanskrit language as a subject in CBSE education is not against secularism because Sanskrit is known as the mother of all Aryan languages. So in another important case that is Ramesh uh, versus Union of India, a public interest litigation was filed against the director general of uh, Duradarshan channel for telecasting uh, a serial named Tamas. So here the serial had explicitly shown the communal violence during the time of partition which is against secularism under article 25 of the Indian constitution. So here in this case the court clearly held that uh, this serial doesn't have any bad motive or intention against any religious communities of that it, uh, it gives a, a lesson or instead of that it gives a lesson that people uh, lesson to the people that uh, such things cannot be repeated. So in another important case, Shaira Banu versus Union of India, here it was a 2000, uh, this case is in 2017 and the court here in this case held that triple talaq is unconstitutional and is violative of article 14 of the Indian constitution and since it vests a complete right to men to dissolve a marriage relation. So triple talaq doesn't flow as a part of article 25 clause 1 of the Indian constitution. So in one of the relevant case that is N. Aditya versus Tamankur Devaswam board. Here the Supreme Court held that Brahmins do not have the monopoly of performing pujas in the temples. A non-Brahmin can be appointed as a, a priest if he is uh, uh, properly trained and is well versed with the rituals to be performed and the mantras to be recited. So that's about that case. So uh, there are certain uh, restrictions on freedom of religion guaranteed under article 25 of the Indian constitution. So one of the restriction is religious liberty is subject to public order, morality and health. And the second restriction is the regarding the regulation of economic, financial, political and secular activities associated with the religious practice. And the third restriction is for the um, social welfare and the social reform. And Article 26 of the Indian Constitution deals with the freedom to manage religious affairs as well as Article 27 of the Indian Constitution states that no person shall be compelled to pay any tax for the promotion or maintenance of any particular religion or religious denomination. And Article 28 of the Indian Constitution deals with the prohibition of religious institution in state uh, religious institutions, state aided institutions, um, the prohibition of religious instructions in state-aided institutions.
Muslims. So these are all about the right uh, to freedom of religion which has been dealt under article 25 and uh, 228 of the Indian constitution so you can like subscribe and comment on my video and do like and subscribe our youtube channel let's click please give me a feedback regarding this video and if you have any questions relating to this video you may please comment that in the comment box i will be replying as soon as possible and this video does not solicit any types of promotion or advertisement as per the guidelines of bar council of india yeah, and the sole purpose of this video is for educational purposes only so by saying these words i'm concluding thank you